I've made Wani Kani work for myself on my iPad. I can do reviews so much quicker than I did them before. I can actually see what items are coming up in my next review and also see if that review is critical to me leveling up or not. They're just really loads of tiny different ways that I have made my Wani Kani experience just a tiny bit better than it was before. And so I hope I can share how to do that today. A while ago, I found a video by Olivia's Japanese Nook. It's a great video that shows how you can install user scripts on a laptop to customize Wani Kani. The only thing with that is, I don't use Wani Kani on my laptop at all. I use it on my iPad day in and day out. And because I don't understand anything about user scripts or any of that kind of stuff, um, I didn't really know how to translate that process from installing a user script on your laptop to doing it on your iPad. So I went on to research and it turns out there isn't a lot of noob friendly instructions. <laughs> um, but after a lot of failing and just trying it again, I eventually got there. Firstly, I think it's quite worth talking about what a user script actually is. I'm not an expert, so I'm certainly not going to use the right words, I think. <laughs> um, but for the purposes of this video and in the context of a Wani Kani user script, this is what I understand it to be. A user script is basically a small piece of code that can run alongside the actual code that displays a website on your browser. And so all it really does is one little user script can alter little bits of how the web website looks and is displayed to you on your browser. That's all it really does. So in the context of Wanikani, every single user script that you install or decide to try out is, is one aspect of how you can customize the website. So you can actually install 50, 60, 70 user scripts that all do one particular thing and alter one particular thing about the website. So let's look at how to do that on your iPad. Step number one, there are two apps that you need for this. You need the Safari web browser, which I think is pre-installed on every iPad. And number two, you need the user scripts app. You can get that on the app store, just search for user scripts, it's the first one that came up for me, and you just install that. Step number two is setting up the user scripts app. The user scripts app is actually an extension to your Safari web browser. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the user scripts app and we're gonna tell the app where to store and fetch user scripts from. All I did was I created a new folder on my iCloud and basically told the app to store and use user scripts from this folder only. And from this point onwards, you don't really ever interact with the app directly. Um, so really you can put it anywhere on your iPad. Um, from this point onwards, it just is an extension to your browser. So let's make sure this extension is actually enabled on our browser. To do that, we have to go to settings, go to Safari, then press extensions, and you'll find user scripts to be one of those. If you click on that, you just have to enable it, which now means that that extension works and is enabled on your Safari browser. Step number three is we're gonna install our first user script. The important thing to note here is that your first user script should be the Wani Kani Open Framework user script. I don't really understand why, but in my head, I've just made a note that it's the master of all user scripts, which essentially allows you to run every other user script you install. So just install that one first. It says on every instruction online, let's go for it. All you have to do is go to Wani Kani Community and you are gonna find under a small link called API and third parties, you click on there, you're gonna find a list of basically all user scripts that you can download. So on the top, you can see the new and improved list of API and third-party apps. And under user scripts, you'll find the very first link is one tiny open framework. So we're gonna click on that. Click on one tiny open framework, which opens up a new tab on greasyboard.org. We're gonna install this script and this is where I got confused when I first did this, but all you have to do really from this point onwards is find your extension that we've installed with the user scripts app. And we're just gonna access that. And what the extension does is super clever. It actually recognizes that there is a user script that's available for you to install. So all you really have to do is through this extension is tell the app, tell the extension to install this user script that you've just opened up. And that is basically you can see that it's showing up on the list and that's your first user script that's now saved on your extension. 
Step number four, let's get customizing. Now that we've installed our master user script, we're gonna go ahead and find one user script that's gonna let us customize Wani Kani. On the page, the new and improved list of API and third-party apps, you basically have a list of all the user scripts that basically all do something slightly different for you. So it's basically like going shopping. You go, you scroll, have a little look. The first one that I want to download and show you is Level Duration 2. I'll click the link, which opens a new tab to greasyfork.org, just like we've done before. I'm gonna click Install the Script. And once again, I'm gonna go install that user script in my extension. Now we can see that there are two user scripts. There is the Open Wadi Kani Framework and Level Duration 2. We can see that they're both active by the kind of JS capital letters on the side being yellow. If you wanted to inactivate those user scripts, you just click on it in the extension and it will disable those and not run. Let's see if this made a change to our dashboard. Opening up the Wani Kani dashboard and I'm gonna access the menu on the top right corner. Yes, now I can see it says levels and then it gives me the days and hours that I have spent on that level that I'm on right now. I think it's super useful for myself because I've set myself a roundabout objective of how many hours and days I wanna kind of spend on a level. So every time I access my dashboard, I can now see, oh, how long have I spent on this level so far? Do I need to hurry up? Um, is there anything I need to focus on? I think it's very helpful. So we definitely saw that installing one user script called Level Duration 2 has altered how the dashboard looks for myself. And now imagine you have an entire shopping list of other user scripts that you can use to customize Wani Kani. There's lots out there. Too much. <laughs> it also actually gets overwhelming. Like which one do you even choose? Um, some of them do the same thing. Um, but I'm going to make a video very soon reviewing some of the user scripts that I find the most helpful. And so yeah, subscribe, stick around to see uh, my review of those user scripts and which ones I think are the best. Happy customizing and I'll see you again.